Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to make this really cute resin dried flower comb and mirror set. How cute is that? All these flowers and greenery and some gold flake in there. Anyway, stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Alrighty y'all, let us get started. So I am pouring more resin today in some of my favorite molds. This small little comb, this bigger comb, and... I have this little mirror. Um, now, when you are using mirror molds, usually they come, and this came with um, two or three mirrors to go here, but if you look on Amazon and you know other craft supply stores, just make sure that you measure your mold where the little mirror piece will fit in, and you can buy those little mirror inserts all over the place, okay? So if you buy molds like this and you're thinking, oh no, you know, I'm going to run out of mirrors. I'll never be able to find any. You can find them, okay? <laughs> you can find them. So this was a request to make this little set using some dried flowers. Now, I already have my resin over here mixed up. And I'm using a bit of a different measuring cup than what you usually see me use. I'm using this one here. This one is not disposable. As you can see, this one is not disposable like many of the other cups that I use. Why am I using this? Because I'm pouring a lot of resin. I've got a bunch of molds over here after I get done with these and I'm mixing up large quantities at once. So that's why I'm using this measuring cup. If you've watched my previous resin videos, you know that this is my favorite resin. You measure it one part to one part. I've gone over all of the reasons why I like this resin, but if you'll look in the description box, and I will also pin a comment, I will have all of these awesome supplies that you need for resin pouring in my Amazon shop. So go check that out. But like I said, I have my little comb mold and my mirror mold over here. And I'm letting my resin sit. Now, I was kind of in a hurry a while ago, and I was watching something here on my phone, and I was just mixing my resin, and it has a lot of little bubbles in it right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to let that resin sit there for a few minutes, good five or six minutes, and then I'm going to spray it a little bit with 91% alcohol. Or you can just blast it with your heat gun. And that will take care of most of the bubbles. Now I'm sitting here looking at all of these little dried flowers I have. Now I do love to dry my own flowers. And if you like to do that as well, that's awesome. But if you don't have access to flowers, you can also buy these on Amazon. Pretty reasonable. I think all of these, it was like $18 or so. Like I said, pretty reasonable. So I'm just trying to decide because I'm going to keep these clear. I don't really want glitter or anything in there. I do have some of this um, gold leafing here that I might put in there. I haven't decided yet. But I'm looking at these flowers, and I'm kind of leaning towards these right here. As you can see, these come like with actual flowers and also a little bit of greenery. So I'm going to attempt to open this without making a mess. Keyword here is attempt. Ooh. And I pull this out. All right, let's lay this down. And the thing with these dried flowers here is if you pick a flower and it doesn't exactly fit into your mold, you can just trim it a little bit with a pair of scissors. You can just trim it a little bit, a little bit, little bit. So this one here, how cute is that? Let's see if that will fit down in the handle. Now that's a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is just play around with these. I'm gonna lay them down in my mold just to see how they will fit so that I'll know which ones I wanna use. And I wanna come back and we're going to pour the resin in here once I get everything situated. Okay, a little bit of progress here. And this does take a long time. See, as you can see, I got some of the greenery here and I got some of the greenery here and this flower, Zoom in, darn it. This flower here, as you can see, I just trimmed off some of these bottom petals so that it's going to fit a little bit better, you know, right up against the teeth of the comb here. So I just put down some of those flowers and I'm just kind of picking through the greenery here. 
you see you have all this lovely greenery um you can see this is very narrow right here and i don't think i have a flower that tiny in the color that i want to use um i have some tiny little red ones here i don't really think i want to use that one um you can see just gently pull off a piece of the greenery i don't want you there and then i'm just going to lay it down there where is my thing it's bad when you lose your thingy don't lose your thingy all right so let's oops wrong in wrong in so you just have to work with it oops now you see that little bitty piece that broke off there this is why it takes so long to do sometimes when you're just trying to get everything like just so you know that might be a little bit too wide so i'm going to remove that and then we'll try another one but that's all that i'm doing here i'm just putting in some greenery and then we're going to put in more flowers and my resin's looking pretty good over here as far as the bubbles go there we go let's just set that there now when we pour the resin in this stuff is going to shift a little bit but that's okay you're just basically wanting to get it you know kind of sort of where you want it so that when it does shift around a little bit you're going to be able to easily put it back into place with a popsicle stick or something you know so i'm going to do some more work on this and i'll be back okay i'm trying to pick up some of these flowers over here but this is pretty much what i have done i have not worked on this little comb yet because i want to get this portion of the video filmed already so like I said, um, once you pour your resin in, this stuff is going to start to float around a little bit. It's okay. Don't worry about it. That's why you have tweezers or your handy dandy popsicle stick here ready, you know, so that you can push it back down in there. Now what this is, I just have a little bit of gold leafing. Like I said, look in the description box and I'll pin a comment to my lovely Amazon shop where you can get a bunch of this stuff. And I am just dumping it down into the resin. The resin. I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. And as you do that, it's going to break up into tiny little pieces. Now, I do have some glitter over here. I don't want to put a whole lot of glitter in this at all. But I have just a tiny amount of pink glitter that I'm going to put in. Why are you not breaking up? Breaking up is hard to do. Um, oh, gosh. Quit playing with the lights, please. I'm going to just swirl that around a little bit. And then, like I said, I have a little bit of this light pink glitter. This is extra fine glitter. It's extra fine. Cameo pink. I'm going to put just a little bit. That looked like a lot, but you know what? For this amount of resin, it's really not. It just gives it a little extra shimmer. And I'm going to mix it up in here. All right, so now I'm going to pour this. And then we're going to put everything into place once it starts floating around. And then if there's any bubbles that rise up to the top of our mold, we're going to spray it with the alcohol. When I have embeds like this and things that can float around, I, I kind of don't like hitting it with the heat gun. Because then it can move everything around even worse because mine has um, a fan built into it. So I'll probably just spray it with the alcohol. But for this... Ooh, a little fuzzy. A little fuzzy. You don't want little fuzzies in here. I'm just going to start carefully pouring down here at the teeth. And as things begin, can y'all see this? As things begin to float around, I am just going to push it down with the popsicle stick. Gently, gently. And hopefully it won't float around too much, but we'll see. Now, when you're using a measuring cup like this, I know the ones that I usually use are disposable. But with these, once you have put the resin in, you can just let it harden up. Once you get all the resin out of it as much as you can, just let it harden up and then you can just peel it out. So I'm going to pour this in. Now, this resin is self-leveling. I'm going to just let it sit here for a minute and spread out. Let it do its thing. And I'm going to go over here and pour. Yes, gently, gently. Okay. Can y'all see this? I don't want to look. 
<laughs> look up here in the viewfinder while I'm pouring this. I don't want to screw it up. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sit there and level out a little bit. I'm going to dig out a few of these little gold pieces and just drop down in there. Like I said, I've got a lot of resin that I'm going to pour today. So a lot of these little gold flakes are going to be in, in other projects. Okay, you see that? I want to move that over. Why is you hiding behind the flower? Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. I'm just scooping a little bit of the gold here. I'm going to put some up here. And it didn't float around too much, which is a good thing. Um, when it comes to resin, there's really not a whole lot to learn about it. It's a fairly easy craft to learn. It seems, it seems difficult at first, but it's really not. And then once you get the basics down, these videos, they become sort of like less instructional, I think, and more of like, a, okay, you already know the basics, but this is what I'm doing today. You know, those types of things. But I like making them, so I'll continue making them. <laughs> All right. So all I'm doing over here is I'm just dipping out some of the gold pieces that didn't pour out. Okay, so these molds are not full at all. But like I said, I like to let them sit there just for a second and level out. That also lets some of the bubbles rise so that you can get rid of them if need be. All right, here's another little piece of gold I'm going to dig out. Now, what do I do with excess resin in my measuring cups? Well, I have a mold over here. It's a little soap dish mold. I call them my junk trays. <laughs> and in my junk trays, what I do is when I have any excess resin left over in my measuring cup that I did not use in my project, I just pour into that mold. And then when it gets full, I just pop it out and, you know, use it here in my craft room. All right, so let's just top this off a little bit. Try to not spill any. Now, if you do spill your resin, don't worry. If you spill it and it runs all over the side of your mold, it'll just pop right off when it hardens up. That's also a reason why I use these pizza pans. I know I've gone over that in previous videos, but if it comes, you know, out of your mold and spills over onto these pizza pans, these pans are non-stick. And the resin that you spilled will just pop off. All right. I apologize for any loud racket. Um, the guy beside of me is out working in his field on his tractor. And he's been making a lot of racket today. All right. So now that I have that poured, would you finish dripping? Oh, my God. So now that I have that poured, I'm going to work on this little comb up here. And then I'm just going to let it all harden up. And then when I come back, hopefully... They'll be able to be popped out of the mold and we can see what the finished thingies look like. Oh. Before I totally go away and wait for these to harden up something else, and I'm sorry I forgot to tell you this, but when you have flowers and leaves and things like this in your resin, you just want to take a popsicle stick and see how I'm just gently, I press on the center and then I just work my way outwards to the out, outer tips of the petals here. You see that bubble come out? That's because there's a little bit of air trapped between the flower and the mold. So by doing that, what I just did, pressing it down, you're getting that bubble out so that it doesn't show up on the front of your work. But anyway, apologies for forgetting that. But anyway, I'll be back. These have cured most of the way. I'm going to say they're about 90% cured. But let's take a look at my measuring cup here. And I didn't clean it out yet because I wanted to show y'all how to do it. I know so many people have asked with my other, and I don't have any. Here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hold on. These disposable cups, you see how thin they are? If you try to take the resin out after it's dried, and then you squeeze your cup to get the resin to break and to come out, you're going to crack these little cups. That's why they're disposable. And, you know, you can scrape out as much of the resin as you want to with a plastic spoon and get rid of it. But then you're still going to have residual done in there and they're just a pain to clean. That's why I get the disposable ones. But anyway, this is not disposable. This has been setting out and this resin in here is quite hard. And this is a very slippery plastic. So to get it out, squeeze, squeeze enough to crack the resin, but not enough to crack your measuring cup. 
and you'll see it just start to flake off. You see that right there? Then you just peel it out. ASMR. <laughs> and then this can take a minute on the bottom here. I'm going to put it up against my chest. Woo, there we go. And then it just all pulls out. This is my this is my sculpture. This is my masterpiece. <laughs> anyway, then I just throw that away. And then, you know, you can just go back around and pick out all of the tiny little pieces. But yeah, now it is clean and ready to be used again. But anyway, like I said, these are about 90% cured. And I'm just going to work them out of the mold. Combs can be tricky. You know, a lot of times I pop them out of the mold you know, various projects. I take them out of the mold before they're cured, and then I just like to lay them flat and let them cure so I can have use of the mold. But for combs, because of the teeth here, you, you want to let them try to cure as much as possible, if not all the way, so that when you take them out of the mold, you know, you don't mess up the teeth. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to work it loose with my fingers here. And then there is our beautiful little floral comb. So you can see there's a tiny little bubble right there. And you know what? That is very easy to fix. If you pop these out and you see little bubbles, don't worry about that. What you do is you mix up just a little bit more clear resin and then take a little syringe or a pipette and just fill in that hole and then let it cure. Don't worry about that. And when you do that, really, most of the time, you can't even tell that there was a bubble there. All right. So now we have this big comb. Um, I've also been asked several times, are, can you use these combs? Yes, you can use these combs. I wouldn't be making this, you know, if I couldn't use it. Uh, resin is very, very durable. Once it is 100% cured, it is a very durable thing. But anyway, let's flip this over. And here is our floral comb. Is that not pretty? Some gold and our flowers and our leaves. So now I'm just going to... Lay this down, just going to press the teeth down. And you know what, if you can look, do you see how thick they are? Very, very durable. It's just like buying a plastic comb at the store. All right, so let's get this mirror. I'm gonna move this back. Let's see, I don't have a piece of white paper to lay this on. You know what, I do. Hang on. I have a notebook here. And you know what, I can lay this on this notebook so that you know you can see the detail a little bit better. But yeah, there's that. Lay down over there. Now this is the little mirror. Now some of this, because I bumped the table. I was in here cleaning up last night and I bumped the table and some of the resin spilled over the edge. And I know that this is gonna be hard to see because it's clear, but if you can see when I pop it out, you see this little lip here? That's not supposed to be there. Very easy to take care of with an X-Acto knife. You can just take an X-Acto knife and then just, just peel it right away. Very, very easy fix. And once you really get into resin crafts, you're probably going to see that quite a bit. Um, spillage <laughs> over the edge of the mold. That's why you need to have the X-Acto knife handy. All right, so I'm just trying to work this loose. Come on, there we go. And here's our mirror. How cute is that? How cute is that? Now this mirror does have a design engraved into it. You see that design? If this was to be a solid color, then I would take acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, Ooh, with a fake eyelash stuck on it where I'm making another styrofoam head. This white acrylic paint and just paint over it and then wipe it off with a damp paper towel that has been dampened with rubbing alcohol. Now, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you have seen me do this. So jump over on Instagram and check me out. You'll see videos of where I do like real fast videos showing how I put on the acrylic paint. I don't want to do that with this one, <laughs> which is why I'm not going to do it. But anyway, now we need to put in our mirror piece. And let me see. I don't have any. Oh, gosh. I thought I had a piece of sandpaper in here. Oh, well, I don't. Nope. You know what? I'm just going to use this pair of scissors. 
You can take a piece of sandpaper or a nail file or something like that and just scuff this up just a little bit so that your adhesive is gonna stick on there just a little bit better. I'm just taking these very sharp scissors and I'm just gently, I'm, I'm not even putting hardly any pressure on this. I'm just raking it over it just a little bit just to give my glue something, you know, to really grab onto. Okay. Um, woo! I dropped one of my mirrors. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. So this is the Gorilla Clear Grip, Clear Grip Glue. There we go. I'm a big girl. I can see it. Or you can use these 6,000. Whichever you want to do. And I'm just going to take it. Try not to get too close to the edge so that when you put your mirror down in there, it won't ooze out and make a mess. See, I'm just putting some little blobs here and then I'm gonna put the mirror in, which I apologize if when I put this mirror in, if it blinds you for a second because I have some very harsh filming lights in here and it may reflect in the mirror. All right, where's the lid? Oh my gosh, I just set it down and I lost it. But anyway, you're probably gonna see my phone up there. And then you just set it down Put it into place wherever you want it. Glue it in. And I'm just going to let it sit there. I'm pressing it down. And I'm just going to let it sit there. And then that is the mirror. Cool, right? Anyway, that is done. So now I'm just going to let these sit here. I'm going to let them finish hardening up. It hasn't even been a full 48 hours yet. So um, I just let these sit here overnight again and they'll be ready to use tomorrow. But yeah, these are, these are very durable, very, very durable. They can definitely be used. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you would, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.